Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Tomas Koblaros. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer at uh, Cloud Layer 8. Just to provide you a bit of an introduction, uh, who Cloud Layer 8 is. We're a new innovative ICT provider with our own independent state-of-the-art uh, data center, and we're offering innovative and versatile cloud and managed services covering a broad range of uh, market sectors. For those of you wondering where the name uh, Cloud Layer 8 came from, uh, whoever is in the room and is a little bit more technically uh, uh, educated, it comes from the, OSN, the OSI model, which classifies seven layers of, uh, uh, of connectivity, starting from layer one and two, the physical layers, the data link, and then it's moving on to layer seven, which is the application layer. And we have added an eighth layer, which is the human touch. So hence the name Cloud Layer 8. We're, uh, our data center is based in Cyprus, in Limassol. It's a new state-of-the-art independent data center. And we have all the relevant uh, standards and compliance, uh, ranging from uh, tier three, uh, PCI, which is the payment card industry and data security standards. Uh, we have the ISO 9001 and the 27001, which is for the management of information security. We're one of the only data centers to actually have all of these certifications under uh, one data center. And we run a NOC 24 by 7. Our data center is uh, approximately 2,000 uh, square meters. It is an independent data center, which means we connect through multiple ISPs. We do not limit our customers to one ISP, so they can select uh, which uh, carrier to go with. We have multiple connection paths from each of the carriers, and we have the capacity to expand up to 5,000 servers. Currently, we're uh, servicing customers, both locally in Cyprus as well as in the international markets. Going through some of the vendors or providers uh, which we're using, we're using all the top uh, vendors such as Cisco on the routing switching and firewalling, HP on the storage, APC for the data center equipment, uh, for cooling, the racks, as well as the DCIM, which is the data center infrastructure management. Uh, we're working with, proof, with Proofpoint for email security, Solar Winds for the management of the network infrastructure for our customers. We're a Microsoft Silver partner for uh, data center. So, and we're also working with Encapsula for content delivery networks and some application firewalls. Uh, additional partners uh, is uh, Supermicro on the servers, Intel for the uh, chipsets, and we're also working for the with the Uptime Institute for the certifications which we have received on the Tier 3. We've also recently joined the European Data Center Association. We're the first data center in Cyprus to uh, join this association. It's, uh, it's an association in Europe which basically regulates and uh, it, it's a platform which the best practices of data centers are uh, discussed. It's a knowledge sharing platform and uh, we have recently uh, joined them. In terms of uh, partnerships with the ISPs, where uh, we can provide services with all four of the major players here in Cyprus. Moving on to our service offerings, we're currently offering uh, co-location services. Uh, we can offer this in a uh, variety of manners, whether it's uh, co-located in, uh, in racks with all our customers or we can provide dedicated and private suites whereby customers can have their own uh, rooms whereby they can uh, host their equipment. We're offering uh, dedicated service uh, whereby customers can select depending uh, with full flexibility what they want, whether it's CPU, RAM, etc., They can build the server and have it hosted uh, at our premises. We're also offering disaster recovery services. Uh, 
uh, not only for IT, but also uh, for business continuity. So a company, a company who has a business continuity plan can come and uh, host um, at our data center. So we have rooms available. Uh, whereby if there is a disaster happening at the customer's premises, they can locate to our premises. We'll provide them hot and cold seats. So we can provide them rooms with equipment, Wi-Fi, telephony, etc., as well as furniture. And the, as soon as a disaster occurs, they can locate to our premises uh, straight away. And they'll be ready to go. We also provide managed services. So uh, the management of our customer's uh, network infrastructure, uh, also the security, telephony. We provide IT consultancy services as well as security solutions, whether it be uh, email security or network security also. All of the services we are providing, they are with uh, strict SLA guarantees. There's very few companies in Cyprus actually offering SLA guarantees. So if we do not meet the SLAs, we have to pay back customers. There's penalty clauses. All of our services are supported by 24 by 7 NOC or Network Operations Center. We offer custom packages uh, as well as packaged options to customers depending on the type of services uh, they require. And everything is supported by our qualified and uh, experienced staff. So moving a little bit into the, uh, the key drivers which are driving uh, the internet traffic today, because it's important to analyze this as uh, everything is going into the data center. We can see that the social media uptake, and we'll go into some of the figures later on so that we can see the uptake, is a, is a key contributor. Another contributor is the increase in uh, mobile internet users. So we see that uh, providers are providing much cheaper rates. Uh, so this is increasing the uptake. The manufacturers are providing cheaper and cheaper devices uh, or smartphones, which are enabling the customers to, uh, uh, to utilize more bandwidth. We can see an increased uh, uptake in bandwidth applications, such as ERP, CRMs, enterprise content management, etc. The proliferation of connected devices, we can see that IoT is uh, increasing, machine-to-machine -machine devices are also increasing, and the whole industry uh, is evolving. We'll take a look at some numbers uh, in a while also. The uptake of clouds, the uptake of e-commerce, and we can see also uh, the growth of video. So video, predominantly, uh, a lot of the vendors are saying that by 2020, it will account for about 75% of all internet traffic. So we can see that video is still a, a key driver in the, uh, in the data traffic. Taking a look at some of the figures, okay, I won't go too much into this, but uh, with regards to the social media uptake, we can see Facebook is on 1.7 billion uh, subscribers. Uh, we can see that uh, there's just a huge uh, demand in terms of what's happening. I mean, there's one million new mobile devices added every day uh, onto the networks. Facebook and WhatsApp are processing approximately 60 million messages a day. Uh, so we can see a lot, of, uh, a lot of activity happening on the networks here. In terms of the vendors, the, the vendors are also uh, uh, following and supporting the uh, discussion of the increased mobile traffic. Uh, the vendors are saying that, or they're speculating that uh, in the next five years the traffic will uh, increase tenfold. So this means that uh, network operators, data centers and ISPs need to obviously be prepared for this. And moving on to connected devices or the machine-to-machine -machine and IoT, Vendors are also speculating an annual uh, cumulative annual growth of approximately 20% in the next five years. So uh, not only the, the amount of connected devices, but uh, also the actual data transferred on these connected devices. So we see also a growth in devices, but as well as the, the data transfer uh, increasing. So by the year 2020, they speculate approximately there'll be 
six connections per, uh, per population or per person. This is an interesting uh, study which was done by RightScale in 2006 called the State of the Cloud Report. This basically shows that 95% uh, of respondents are using the cloud, whether it be the public cloud or the private cloud, or a hybrid version of the two. So this is actually showing us that the cloud is no longer a thing of the future. It's here. Uh, the studies are showing it. And year on year, we can see 2015 to 2016 that there's an increase uh, in the uptake, whether it's public, private, hybrid, or any cloud. So why are we looking at all these numbers, all these figures? The reason is that all this data ends up in the data centers. So carriers will need to consider network strategies to better manage the coverage, the quality and the capacity of the networks. The carriers will have to also consider investing in new efficiency trends such as SDN and F uh, NFV or network function virtualization. And they will have to also focus on customer satisfaction and enhanced revenue streams. In addition, they will need to provide new innovative products and services so that they can stand out from the competition and create their key differentiators. But also service providers will have to pro prove that they can offer high quality, state of the art and reliable communication services. Thank you. Any, Any questions? Thank you.